Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. The World Series on MLB The Show coming up. It's the New York Mets going up against the New York Yankees. Hi, folks. John Chomby alongside Chris Singleton. And as we get set for Game 5, Chris, it seems like this series could still have a few twists and turns in it. Yeah, and even though neither team's going to be going home after today, Game 5 always has the feel of an elimination game when the series is tied up at 2-2. And maybe it's just as important as one because being up 3-2 as opposed to down 3-2 makes a huge difference going forward. Yeah, you don't want to be the team with their backs up against the wall in Game 6. This is a big swing game. First pitch coming your way next. All right, just about set to go. And towing the slab in this one, Jamison Tyon. Very dominant his last time out, picked up the win, only allowed one run. These guys would love to see him back on his game in this one. Ready for baseball here in New York. Here's Brandon Nimmo. The center fielder. Brandon. In for a strike. So game five is underway. Owen Tuzzi waves at that one. Lifted in the air, right center field. What a play in right field. One away. Let's take a peek at the Mets lineup here. They're facing a guy today who is a strike thrower. Doesn't issue a lot of walks, so they're going to have to work hard to generate base runners. And when you've got a strike thrower like this guy on the mound, you can't be overly patient as a hitter because the umpire is generally going to give him the benefit of the doubt. So you got to go up there understand what's in his repertoire be aggressive in what you can handle and you get three swings why not take all three of them with his control and command he's going to be in the strike zone one down base is empty the punch out there now two out just a mid 90s challenge fastball right there not much to it and I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location those are the swing oh this one high and deep way back there out of here Francisco Lindor takes him deep and they jump out front it's one nothing. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Here's Pete Alonso. Big time power. That is cool. the first In there and it's 0-1. Alonso. The pitch. And a foul ball. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that will end the inning. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's now 1-0. Back at Yankee Stadium and getting the start. Chris Bassett. Very solid starters, able to repeat his mechanics on a consistent basis, which allows him to move through a lineup and get deep into a ball game. Bottom of the first. Leading Andrew Benatelli steps up. The pitch. Andrew. And the first Andrew. offering is fouled off. Bounce to the left side. Fires across the diamond. One up, one down. Batting second. As we take a look now at the New York Yankees lineup. The challenge for him today, Singy, elevating the baseball against this sinker baller that's on the mound. Yeah, that's the challenge, but it also might affect the way they approach. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And that one is going to go. 
Judge leads the yard. That's his third home run of the series. It's tied at one. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Batting third, the first baseman, Anthony. Out towards right center. That's well Rizzo. struck. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Batting four. Two outs, bases empty. Giancarlo Stanton stepping in now for the Yankees. First offering, misses the mark. Tied up here in the early going. Out to center. Nimmo settles under it. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. But a run scores in the inning as this solo home run ties things up. All even now at 1-1. Second inning set to go. Now it's the DH. Daniel Vogelback. The designated hitter. On the ground to third. Carpenter over to pick it up. Sends it across the first and quickly one away in the second. The second base Jeff McNeil stands yeah. in. McNeil. And now this one's a rocket to right. Way back there. Gone. A towering home run. And the Mets jump in front. It's 2-1. He sent the first pitch over the wall. Must have dinner reservations because he wasn't wasting any time at the plate in that at bat. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch him from the on deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. So one out, nobody on. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to hit. The third base. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Escobar. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Dave Lawrence is signed to work home plate in this one. Good umpire, Boog. Very fair, very consistent. Now, I did hear some feedback that he opens up the outside corner a little bit on left-handed hitters, which, you know, for me, I'd be kind of salty. So maybe something to keep an eye on and see if that factors into this one at all. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Makes the grab for the second out. The left fielder. Two Number outs, base is empty. Tyler Naquin to the plate. Naquin. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. On the ground, right side. LeMayhew gets it to first. Out number three. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. Back in the Bronx, and now the veteran third baseman, Matt Carpenter. For the Yankees. Bassett the back baseman, to work. Matt. And the pitch is outside, ball one. Nope. And now two and nothing. Up the middle, Lindor picks it up. That's one out, the bottom of the second. That exists. Up to the plate steps DJ LeMayhew. LeMayhew. In there for strike one. Really good cutter that he's able to front door and back door. That pitch is devastating. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Pulls it down and there's two gone. 
just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open that instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. On the ground. And that's a base hit. And Harrison Bader with a chance to make an impact with two away. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Good extension on that swing. Took the pitch on the outside part of the plate and drove it up the middle. He let it travel just enough. And now Bader up to the plate. Connor Falefa leads off first with two down to the inning. Again with a pitch out. Yeah. That one drifts inside. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if it'll walk you. This one high in the air to left center. Nimmo drifts towards it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. One left. Back at Yankee Stadium, out of the third inning, digging in, James McCann. That's in for a strike. Well, he looks fresh out there. Just needs to get a little more confidence and remember how good he's been in the past. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. He'll circle the bases, and they add on. It's 3-1. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Here's the Mets leadoff man, Brandon Nimmo. 0 for 1 with a flyout. That one to first. He steps on the bag, and that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. And next for the Mets, Starling Marte. His first at bat was a strikeout. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Well struck right field. That's going back. Back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. Up next to the net. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. He's already homered in this one. And first offering is fouled off. And the righty deals. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. The 0-2. Fouled off. He was late. In the air, out towards right center. Bader makes the move towards the gap. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's back in the Bronx as we go to the last of the third. Here's Jose Trevino. The catcher. And first offering is fouled off. Right hander kicks deals. And a swing and a miss. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Way inside, gets out of the way. One two now. Out towards right center field. Can't get there. Base hit. 
safe at second with a leadoff double. He went up there and got it with two strikes. I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where he could get those arms extended oh, that he loves to do. So nice job right no there field, coming back in that at bat. Andrew, Andrew Benintendi up to the plate. Next pitch has popped up. And Benintendi is out. One down. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. No Unbelievable that he missed 99. it right there. And I'm telling you, Aaron. he is going to be frustrated with himself Judge. until his next at bat. Aaron Judge now at the plate. The solo homer his first time. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. In the air out to center, Nimmo under this one and makes the grab. And there's two down. Now back. And Rizzo. here is Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo. That hits the dirt. Ball one. Trevino stands at second with two gone. Next offering is downstairs. Well, no need to go right at this guy. First base is open. He can hurt you, so make him expand his zone. If he doesn't, give him a walk. 2-0. And another ball appears they're working around him with the base open, singing. Well, you know these 2-0 counts, Boo. They're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I say that. But ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. Definitely lost the handle during that sequence. Four pitches for the walk, and that last one didn't even threaten the zone. That you might want to go talk to him. Stanton at the plate for the second time as he takes ball one. Kicks and fires. Swing and a ball popped up. McNeil. Save! Well, I can understand the defense right there trying to cut off that lead runner at third, but a good jump and an excellent finish for the base runner to get in there safely. Now it's Matt Carpenter. And Boog, I'd say he's due. And first offering is fouled off. The 0-1. Just missed. Boog, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. The count two and one. And there's a ball. Bases loaded here. If he walks them, probably not the worst thing because the alternative could be a grand slam. Righty to the plate. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Now this is a rocket to left. Naquin makes the catch. And that'll do it. Yankees leave him loaded. Score holds. It's 3-1. Back for more from the Bronx. John Chompy with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Pete Alonso. Into left center for a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. All over that one right there. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. I think he was sitting off speed there. 
swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And there's one down. Well, Brogue, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to go punch himself. That slider had hit me ridden yeah. all over it, and clearly he just got a little too excited and was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. He's got it. There's two away. Now batting. Third base. Eduardo Escobar up now for the Mets. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. That's hard hit in the line. Nice grab on the run. And that is that. Mets straight. Bottom of the fourth. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. Leading off for the Bassett back to work. The second baseman, DJ. Swing and a base hit. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his now bat batting. stays Good in the shot. zone on plane for an extended period of time. Tyler and guys like run. that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Tying run at the plate. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Naquin sizes this one up. He's got it. And there's one down. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yeah, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a good strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets out. Ground ball left side could be two. Over to McNeil, and it's a double play to end the inning. We played four. Gets the... We go to the top of the fifth, and now Tyler Naquin. Leading off with the net. The left field, That's a strike. It's 0 1. Late with the swing there. Here comes a pitch. Stays alive. 0 oh 2 now. And now one and two. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Popped in the air. Left field. Benintendi makes the play. And there's one down. The catcher, number James three. McCann in now. McCann. McCann fouls one off. For you growing up in New York City, I mean, you're a big sports fan. Tell me about your experience with the Yankees growing up. I really went to Shea Stadium more than I did to Yankee Stadium. I grew up a Phillies fan. There was one game, though, that I went to as a kid. I sat in the upper deck. It was the game that Bo Jackson hit three homers in his first three plate appearances and then hurt a shoulder diving for Deion Sanders inside the park home run. That's probably Brandon. the most memorable game that I ever attended as a fan at Old Yankee Stadium. Brandon Nimmo stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Next pitch has popped up. Puts the squeeze on it, and that'll do it. Order go to Mets, and the score stays three to one. Here at New Yankee Stadium in Yankee. the Bronx, and now Jose Trevino. Jose. And that one fouled off. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. This guy's sink has so much drop in it. It's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. The pitch. Base knock center field. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Ben and up here. Back to the mound. And it gets by him. Lead runner to second. So two on and nobody out. Really nice job staying up the yeah, middle with his approach. Right he didn't try to do too much yeah, right. with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Yeah. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. First yeah, offering right. misses badly for ball one. K-1 
kicks and deals. And it's even up. You tie a guy up like that, you're feeling like you are in command. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. And they're happy to play station to station right here. Bases loaded, nobody out. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Rizzo up to bat next, lays off for a ball. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. Next pitch misses. Two balls, no strikes. Pressure's on right here. 2-0 count. Base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three-ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. 2-0. Just missed. They need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up, something. But you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. Bases loaded, nobody out. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Bounced out to short, and it gets by him. Runner held at third, and they'll be loaded again with nobody out. Oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Bases loaded, nobody out. Giancarlo Stanton at the plate. Now batting, the designated hitter, Giancarlo. First pitch Stanton. doesn't find the zone. These home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. The 1-0. Up the middle. Base hit. One run is in. Runner stops at third, and they're at the corners with nobody out. Big RBI for him right there. Pitch was on the outside. Didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a pole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. And here comes the Mets manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. That's it for Chris Bassett. And it's a tie ball game as he heads for the dugout. Back with a new arm after a quick break. New arm out of the bullpen, Tyler McGill. And he's on to deal with the bases loaded. How'd you like this? Summoned from the bullpen, playing the Yankees. Bases loaded. Now, the here is baseman, Matt Carpenter. Swing, and this is Rick. Down the right field line. Way back there. Out of here. Matt Carpenter leaves the yard. A four spot on the board. It's 7-3. One big swing, and that turns the tables on this one. And when you come to the plate with the bases loaded and you've got some pop, you know it's hard not to think about the chance to hit a grand slam. And that can be a trap sometimes, but not right here. He sees the opportunity, put a great swing on it, and now they're working with the lead. Here's DJ LeMay here. DJ. The other Ron way, Mayhew. and that's a base hit. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. Oh, so impressed with his ability to let the ball time. travel, I go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Isaiah kinder falefa up to the plate. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Pitch. Nope. Oh, 
Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Swing and a pop-up. McNeil racing over to make the catch. Now batting. And at first. And now the center fielder, Harrison Bader. Check swing on the first pitch. Appeal down to first. And that's a swing, according to umpire Matthew Ross. The next offering misses. And the count even one and one. LeMayhew, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. And this is inside. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Nimmo gliding back. Squeezes it. That's out number two. Okay. And here's the catcher. Jose Trevino. Jose Trevino. In the dirt. Well done behind the dish. Next pitch has popped up. Lindor settles underneath it. And that'll do it. So they strike for six in the inning as there's the big blow. The grand slam home run. It's now a four-run lead at 7-3. All set for the top of the sixth. Here's Starling Marte. Next pitch has popped up. Carpenter settles underneath it. Makes the grab. One up, one down. Well, oh, that's a frustrating into the at-bat for the now hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics. And instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Righty delivers. On the ground to short. Connor Falefa gloves it. Whips it across. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Now batting. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. And that's in there for strike one. And a pitch. Fought off foul. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Top of the order, two up in the home half of the six. Back in New York. Well, we go bottom six. Here's the left fielder, Here Andrew Four Benintendi. The left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. McGill, back to work. That one is upstairs. When you look at Ben Intendi, think about this. He played in the same conference as both Alex Bregman and Dansby Swanson. Those two guys picked ahead of him in the first round, but it was Ben Intendi who was the SEC Player of the Year the year they all got drafted. Yeah, uh, the organization clearly saw something special in this kid as a prospect, and it's paid no, off you, nicely. Number 99, Aaron John. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. He normally does damage on that pitch in that location. Just a swing and a miss there. I don't think you want to throw it again, though. Right handed reliever. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And a pitch. That misses the zone. It's a ball and two strikes. Now, when you think about players in the past or even in today's game, who's a comparison? He reminds me a little bit of Harold Baines. Both of them lefties, both outfielders, and he's shown similar types of production at the plate.
The 2-2. Two -two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Two out. And now it's going to be oh, Anthony Rizzo. The first baseman. Anthony Rizzo. One out. At the belt and fires. And he hits a ground ball right side. Oh, great stop. And very nicely done for the out. This guy's anticipation is off the charts. Don't see many shortstops better than that. Great job to complete the play and end the inning. Back here in New York. And now the DH, Daniel Vogelback. Leading off with the net. The designated hitter. And there's Daniel a foul ball. Vogelback. Here's your one. Late on that fastball. So impressive how the velo is still there, even this deep into the outing. And fouled off. Vogelback stays alive. Left hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And that's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. The left fielder, number 25. Tyler Naquin Tyler digs in now. Naquin. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to pick. Swing and a miss, and he got him. That ends the frame. Mets leave one. They're down four. It's seven. Back now in the Bronx. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. For the Yankees, the designated hitter, Giancarlo. The right hander back to work. Stanton. Started to go after it. Now a look down to first. No swing. Next one misses. Now 2-0. Two, oh. two will count to a guy like this at the plate. You've got to throw a pitcher's pitch. Don't just try to get a strike. He could make you pay. 2-0. And that's through there for a strike. Swing and a miss. And it's 2-2. Two and two. He's been great in this one. Eye-hand coordination just failed him a little bit right there. And here it comes. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. Stepping in, Matt Carpenter launched a grand slam earlier in the game. That was back in the fifth. And I'd say we felt the impact of that grand slam ever since. Four runs on one swing. It's just an absolute game changer. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Brings it in, two away. The batter. The and now it's player. DJ LeMayhew DJ. digging in. LeMayhew. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Chases that one. That's out number three. I think the key is arm action. On Scott Efros on the pitch here, and he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. 
And he deals. Towards first. Has some trouble with it. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. The center fielder. Here's the Mets leadoff man. Brandon, Brandon Nimmo. That one's in there on one. Out towards left center. Benatendi on the move. Makes the grab and there's two gone. Two outs, bases empty. Starling Marte getting ready to hit. In there and it's 0-1. That one ripped. That's back. And that is gone. He sends it out of here. And they inch closer. It's 7-4. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. You saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate, and he swings and misses at the initial offering. And a pitch. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Francisco Lindor sent it out. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they close the gap. It's 7-5. Back-to-back -back jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. Two outs, nobody on. Pete Alonso up now for the Mets. Now the first Pete Alonso. Rolled over to third. Carpenter sends it to first. And that will end the inning. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now 7-5. And welcome back. And now the shortstop, Isaiah kiner Falefa. For the Yankees, the shortstop, Isaiah kiner Falefa. And the pitch. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. The well, baseball is coming out of his hand very well. He's been able to paint all four corners, but really good ride at the top of the zone. Hitters have to respect that. Very difficult pitch to hit. That one misses in the dirt. The pitch. And now the count is even. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. That one the other way. That's a base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff now. Gotta love the resiliency he showed in that now at bat. That battling with two field. strikes. Pretty Very much a field. model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's gonna be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. And now Harrison Bader. And that one hammered way back there. And it hits the base of the wall. McNeil with a relay throw. Not going to get him. He's in there. 
Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Anytime you smoke a ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been, but obviously you have to be happy with that result. Looking for some insurance, or as our friends down in the South would say, insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. And the righty deals. He swings and fouls one off. Connor Falefa at third. Bader at second with nobody out. And one and two. He was looking to come up with the shutdown inning and off to a shaky start. The one two. Popped up. McCann pulls that one down, and that is a big first out. Man, it's so frustrating. You now got a couple of runners Let on. You want to try to drive in at least one run. Maybe you get a little too big with the swing. Pops out right there, and I tell you what, nobody's more frustrated with that at bat than him. Ben intended in the box with one away as he takes ball one. One down, runners at second and third. This one popped up. Alonso sizing this one up. Oh, he dropped it. One, two. <laughs> Squirts away a little bit. Nice job behind the plate there. Second and third here. One away. One out to right. Marte on the move. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Both runners tagging. The tag safe. It's eight to five. Well, these guys understand how important each run is, especially as you get closer to the end of the ball game. Nice job right there to get that runner in from third and add a little insurance. The Mets with a new arm on the mound, Drew Smith. And he has some nasty breaking stuff. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. In the dirt, Bader hung up in a rundown now between third and home. Puts the tag on him, and that's the inning. The role this Chapman comes in to take over, and he'll work on holding this lead. Here's Daniel Vogel back. Here comes a the pitch. There's a strike. Power relievers one after another coming out of the bullpen these days. Got to be ready for that first pitch heater. Into center. Benintendi is there. He's got it. And yeah, there's one away. The batter number one. Second baseman. Jeff. And now here's Jeff McNeil. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. And there's the strike. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing point. Kicks and deals. Gonna count one and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Stays alive. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. And now the lefty swing and a miss. Struck him out. Only one out remaining for the Mets. 
Oh, you got to be pretty quick with the bat speed these days. So many guys throwing in the upper 90s, and you see the velocity on that one. Just tough to catch up to. I mean, guys are coming in, and they're going max effort. They're not looking to go a long distance. They want to get as many strikeouts as they possibly can. Now at the plate, Eduardo Escobar. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. He's got it. Ball game. The Yankees take game five here at home and jump ahead with a 3-2 series lead. Well, all these guys need is one more win. But when you're playing in the postseason, it's not just a win of a game. It's a win of an inning. It's a win of an at-bat. It's a win of a pitch count. And that's what they're going to need to do in the next game to take the series. This one ends with the score eight to five for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. We'll see you soon.